Mankind has been looking up at the moon for thousands of years, fascinated by its beauty and mystical aura. But have you ever wondered if our constant companion is really just an inconspicuous celestial body? Whether the knowledge we've gathered over the course of time about Earth's satellite actually corresponds to the whole truth. Because despite all the manned moon landings and research missions, one thing is certain. The moon still hides countless secrets and mysteries that have always been waiting to be uncovered and deciphered. Are you wondering which new lunar discoveries are currently keeping the experts spellbound? Then stay tuned and be sure to watch our video to the end. Which unsolved lunar mystery have you already heard about? Give us a thumbs up and a subscription and write it down in the comments now. The most exciting and informative comments will be marked with a heart and pinned at the top. The Formation of the Moon The fact that the only satellite of the Earth is still accompanied by enormous mysteries becomes already clear to us. If we look for the answer to a conceivably simple question, how was the Moon actually formed? In fact, this topic has occupied the experts for several centuries, and so far without having supplied a clear answer. The explanation approach, which enjoys at present of the largest agreement, hears on the name collision theory. According to it, a brute collision between the protoplanet Theia and the proto-Earth occurred once. However, it was not a frontal collision, but kind of a galactic glazing shot. As a result, enormous amounts of material were blasted off from which a precursor of the Moon was composed in less than 100 years. In the course of the following millennia, the Trabant would have caught then also the remaining debris and would have condensed more and more. Opposite to it, the capture theory stands. In the year 1909 of the U.S. astronomer Thomas Jefferson Jackson C. into the field lead, this says that the Moon originated first independently and in another area of the solar system. Later, the celestial body was gravitationally captured during a close encounter with Earth. However, since this thesis has some gaps concerning the isotopic similarities, the material composition and the unorthodox capture trajectory, it now counts very few supporters. The sister planet theory follows again the approach that the Earth and Moon formed at the same time from a common compression to a double system. While the majority of the mass agglomerated to our terrestrial home, the remaining dust cover created our natural satellite. Why the two celestial bodies differ then, however regarding their densities and the portion of the light elements so clearly from each other, this theory does not know the answer. Mysterious Glow The announcement that the Moon glows sounds at first more like a banality than an exciting mystery. However, it goes without saying that this does not refer to the constant glow of the Moon as a result of its natural reflectivity, but to the so-called lunar transient phenomena. These are temporary, locally occurring changes in the color and brightness on the lunar surface, which have been causing experts severe headaches for several decades. While it is true that not every one of the more than 1,500 reported observations has a sound scientific background, the phenomenon has, however, been registered by a number of professional astronomers. Among them was the Soviet researcher Nikolai Kozarev, who documented the conspicuous moon flicker in the late 1950s. At that time, Kozarev believed that the flashing phenomena were due to a spectral distribution of carbon. But is this theory consistent with reality? In view of the fact that meanwhile, more than six decades have passed, one might think that Luna transient phenomena has been extensively investigated and unraveled. Well, not really. In fact, the exact opposite is the case. The causes underlying the short-lived brightness fluctuations are still unknown. Consequently, the experts have no choice but to enter the field of speculations. A thesis tries to explain the phenomena with smaller impacts on the Moon's surface. But also, the theory that the spectacle is based on residual volcanism of the satellite is seriously discussed. And although our cosmic companion does not actually show any signs of active volcanism, it is conceivable that small molten areas still lie dormant beneath the surface. The volcanic gases making their way to the surface could stir up loose material and thus cause a temporary deviation of the reflectivity. 
At this point, it should not remain unmentioned that some people do not believe at all that the ominous flashing is created on a natural way. As you can already imagine at this point, we would have to do it with the treacherous traces of an extraterrestrial civilization. But if this is the case, why haven't the extraterrestrial creatures been discovered yet? Have they retreated underground to escape our prying eyes? Hard to believe, but true. Some people estimate that this could exactly be the case, because the moon is hollow from the inside. The hollow moon. But how could some people be rock solidly convinced of this theory? So that we may understand ourselves correctly, the supporters of the hollow moon theory do not only indicate that the interior of the moon enormous hollow spaces gap, but it would be in truth around an artificially created space station. In this regard, often the lower density of the celestial body is referred to. While the Trabant has an average density of 3.3 grams per cubic centimeter, the value amounts to 5.5 grams per cubic centimeter in the case of our Earth. No less conversational are the measurement data collected on the Moon between the years 1969 and 1977. According to this, the records of the seismometers of the Apollo missions show that the interior of the Moon booms like a bell after impacts and quakes. And this is by no means only for a few minutes, but for several hours, a phenomenon which could only arise if the inside of the satellite has gigantic cavities. From the official side, it is said that the moon quakes behave differently than vibrations on the Earth because of the differences in the composition and the density. However, there are no indications of a large cavity inside the moon. Water on the moon. At the first moment, one could think that the moon in its regolith covered surface is the prime example of a dust dry celestial body. But this is not true. In fact, it has been known for a long time that the moon also harbors numerous water molecules. In October 2010, the experts then revealed something that would have seemed unthinkable a few decades earlier. On the south pole of the satellite alone, there is a quantity of water that corresponds to that of Lake Constance. However, the moon water there is not liquid, but in frozen form. Particularly remarkable, it has discovered even more water on the celestial body, and also in regions which were excluded before, still categorically. But where does the water on the moon actually come from? Well, a new study of the University of Alaska Fairbanks shows that a part of the water did not come as so far assumed in the context of asteroid impacts on the satellite, but has its roots in the terrestrial atmosphere. If one follows the explanations of the experts, then oxygen and hydrogen ions from the upper atmosphere of our homeland planet detach themselves and afterwards on the moon, together found. Eerie Sounds It is one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. That legendary phrase spoken by Neil Armstrong on July 21, 1969 during the first manned moon landing is among the most famous quotes of all time. However, we should not forget that this milestone in space history was only made possible by the sound preparatory work that was carried out, among other things, during the Apollo 10 mission. Departing into space on May 18, 1969, astronauts Eugene Cernan, Thomas Stafford, and John Young dedicated themselves to the task of testing the various maneuvers of the lunar module under real conditions. Officially, the endeavor was a complete success. However, many decades later, it turned out that the men were confronted with a phenomenon at the time that still causes great puzzlement. NASA's test flight provided for the astronauts to repeatedly fly over the ominous far side of the moon. And indeed, these were precisely the periods in which the astronauts perceived both unexpected and mysterious noises. It even seemed as if the sounds followed a kind of a rhythm, which is why Eugene Cernan called them space music. Since all three men heard the whistling sounds, it is considered certain that they really occurred. But what could it have had to do with their backgrounds? At first, the astronauts even toyed with the idea of not reporting the incident to the Earthly Control Center. The fear of being labeled crazy and being dropped from future mission teams was too great. In the end, however, they were supposed to tell their superiors about the event. 
and although the story spread quickly afterwards, it would take until 2008 before NASA published the transcript of the conversation. If one followed the official statements, then it acted with the sounds, however, in no case around alien music or the like. It is much more probable that the astronauts became ear witnesses of interferences, thus superposition phenomena of radio waves which they perceived over their headphones. Against the background of this simple explanation, the question arises, why NASA needed almost 40 years to admit the incident? So people, and now it's your turn. What do you think about the presented moon mysteries? And what do you think about the alternative explanations which make the rounds in this respect? Write us your thoughts, your suggestions, and your feedback on today's video, nevertheless as always, quite simply below in the comments. While you're at it, remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to stay up to date from now on. Finally, feel free to take a look at the other exciting videos on our channel that we've linked for you here in the credits. And with that, thanks for watching, take care, and see you next time.